One type of analysis we would like to do on discrete time systems is steady state analysis. To this end, we introduce the final value theorem, which calculates the steady state value of a discrete time signal using its Z transform. We also prove the final value theorem in this video. The final value theorem states that the steady state value of a signal y, which is the limit of y of k as k tends to infinity, can be calculated as the limit as z tends to 1 of z minus 1 times the z transform of y. This theorem allows us to easily calculate the steady state value of a signal if we have its z transform. To illustrate the final value theorem, let's look at two simple examples. For the first example, we use a signal that we've considered before, an exponentially decaying signal, of which we've previously calculated its z transform as 1 over z minus 0 0.95. Since the signal decays exponentially, we know that its steady state value is 0. We now use the final value theorem to arrive at the same answer. The final value theorem says that the steady state value of signal y is the limit as z goes to 1 of z minus 1 times 1 divided by z minus 0 0.95. When we apply the limit to the numerator and denominator, we get 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.95, which is 0 as expected. For the second example, we calculate the steady state value of a unit step. We know that the steady state value is 1, and we again check that we can get the same answer using the final value theorem. According to the final value theorem, the steady state value of the signal is equal to the limit as z tends to 1 of z minus 1 times the z transform of the signal, which we read off from the z transform tables. Since z minus 1 cancel, we are left with the limit as z tends to 1 of z, which is equal to 1 as expected. Let's now prove the final value theorem. The idea of the proof is to write z minus 1 times the z transform of y in terms of the definition of the z transform. We then apply the limit as z tends to 1, which we manipulate to show that it is the final value of signal y. In the first line, we separate z minus 1 times y of z into two terms. We then use the advanced property of the z transform to write the first term as the z transform of the signal y advanced by one time step plus z times y of 0. We use the z transform definition in this line and in the next line we combine the two infinite sums and write the infinite sum as the limit of an infinite sum. Next we apply the limit as z tends to 1 to this which is then equal to the right hand side of the theorem. We interchange the limits in this line. We then apply the limit as z tends to 1 and we write out the sum in this line. We now notice that all the terms except y at m plus 1 cancel, which results in this expression. Lastly, we change the definition of the limiting variable to k equal to m plus 1, which gives us the limit as k tends to infinity of y of k. We recognize this as the steady state value of the signal y, which is also the left-hand side of the theorem, and we have therefore proven the final value theorem.